Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's Daily Market Update. I'm Chief Analyst Ryan Fox. Let's take a look at today's early announcements. Today is August 13th, 2015, just past 8.30 in the morning. We see core machinery orders for month-on-month -month for the yen coming in at negative 7.9%. That's much less than forecast at negative 3 5.3%, excuse me. We also saw house price balance at 44%. That's a little bit over forecast, which is good for the pound. M1 MI inflation expectations for the Aussie dollar, 3.7%. Previous 3.4, so slight gain there. German final CPI month on month, 0.2% is expected. We can see that had a low impact for the euro, as well as French CPI month on month, so inflation also as expected. Franks, uh, PPI month on month, negative 0.2%, less than 0.2, negative 0.2%, so that was slight negative for the franc. We also have ECB policy, monetary policy meetings, excuse me, adding at 12.30 starting this afternoon. Later on in the afternoon, we have Canadian and U.S. dollar announcements. Looks like a heavy load of impact announcements for core retail sales month on month, retail sales month on month, and as well as unemployment claims usually posted on Thursdays. We're expecting 272,000 for the unemployment claims. Take a look at the quick graph here of the previous history. See, over the past two years, unemployment claims has gone down steadily, uh, and we're expecting a little bit lesser of a forecast than the previous. Previous forecast was 273, so 272, expecting 1,000 less this time around. If this is the case, if we see anything less than 272, that's going to give a strong boost to the dollar, which which would be beneficial because the dollar is weak in several uh, weeks now. Also, import prices month on month, medium impact announcement at 130, expecting negative 1%. We also have business inventories and national natural gas storage, as well as 30 year bond auctions from 3 o'clock till 6. Expect expectations for natural gas storage 47 billion, and our bond auction, you can see the 3.08 to 2.2 is the previous. We also have a uh, debt crisis vote for the Greek government happening at any point in time today. We are unsure when that's going to occur, but expectations are that it should pass as it has for the previous two uh, votes. We also have it later on 11.45 p.m., almost wrapping up the day, retail sales quarterly for the New Zealand dollar, 0.5% expected, previous of 2.7%. Take a quick look here. In history, we can see an increase in retail sales over the past two years. We blew out expectations in the previous quarter, so perhaps this quarter could be the same. We also have core retail sales quarterly for the Q as well. Let's take a look at the charts so far, introducing the new platform so we can see a much better view of the assets. We have gold, or gold dollar at 1118.18 and rising. We saw a huge uh, gold surge for the past few days. Euro dollar at 1.11 as well. I think this is due to the decrease in the value of the dollar, but we can see that change. We see interest rates rise in September. Euro pound also heading down slightly from 0 0.71099. Australian dollar, US dollar, 0 0.734 and rising. Pound dollar, 1.56 and rising steadily. We can also see crude oil at $43.5. So it just dipped up from a low of 43 there, but it's expected that this Price is going to continue to drop as supply increases. DAX also hitting uh, very hard this morning, 10,924, compared to a previous day of 11,600, we can see. And stock feature for today, Rosneft Oil, which is a very uh, prominent oil company from Moscow, Russia, at $3.95. This stock crashed 16%. You want to take a look at that. You can see here on the low range is dropped at least 16%. So you can see how, as an example, of the low oil prices, why companies in the oil industry have suffered significantly. You can read more about our analysis on our website at the new blog, Options XO blog. You can also check out more daily analysis by searching us on YouTube, Options XO Daily Market Update. Good luck, folks, and Look at the trades.